The Great Barrier Reef is the most beautiful, diverse ecosystem in the ocean. And if we can't protect something as important as that as a society, we've got to look at ourselves and think, what are we doing wrong here? Of all of the holes, this is going to be the one that's a little that, bit hard to get to. We're out here in one of the most remote parts of the Great Barrier Reef. After the 2017 cyclone, all of the coral cover had been stripped away. You were about on it. I had got onto Google Maps, looked for areas that would have been protected. I stumbled across these crazy circles, perfect circles. There's two known blue holes in the Great Barrier Reef. From a marine biologist's point of view, as soon as I found what looked like a blue hole, I had to get out straight away. I think I've started to get a bit of an obsession with the blue holes. You kind of think, is that actually out there? The steep drop off down to the deep water, incredible coral cover that you get around the edge. It's like a capsule of life. And we thought, all right, Let's go out and actually have a look at this thing. See what it looks like. We know that parts of the Great Barrier Reef are incredibly resilient. You've got a biodiversity hotspot around the mouth of the Blue Holes. So there is something genuinely unusual and special about them. The fact that you can now see these blue holes from space means we can actually go out there and take a look. And it's a whole new era of exploration of the Barrier Reef. It's fantastic. I love that when you come out here, you really feel lost. This is like the Amazon of the ocean. I'll just keep looking on Google Maps until until I've done every square inch and I'm satisfied there's no more. I think if everyone got a chance to jump inside a blue hole, I think it'd inspire anyone to want to protect the ocean.